John asks, Dr. Mingle, you explained that your favorite source for data for quality measure denominators is from practice 837 billing files, but Medicare makes their applicable claims files available to alternative payment model APM entities. So it seems to me that it would be easier to access all data for our participating practice from Medicare than to reach out to each practice individually for a copy of their claim submissions. Can you explain this? Great question, John. It would be great if it were that easy. Now, there are multiple ways to access Medicare's claim records, and you're absolutely correct that it, it, com it contains a complete record of your Medicare's, your Medicare patients' visit not only to your practice, but the visits elsewhere. Medicare calls them CCLF files, or clinical claims line feed files. It represents all claims involving Medicare beneficiaries, no matter where the claim was generated. CCLF is a wonderful source of data that approximates all healthcare costs of all of your patients, wherever those costs are generated whether they're in your practice or outside of it. With it, you can generate reliable data about a broad number of, of, of things of interest, of value, including the total annual cost of care for each individual Medicare patient in your patient panel, the specific services, the diagnoses driving those services, the source of those services, and the dollar value of each element of care accessed by your Medicare patients. A leakage analysis, that is data about where your patients are going for specific services that your organization provides. But now that quality reporting for all Medicare value-based programs under the quality payment program are all patient, all payer, the fatal, fatal flaw for you of the CCLF files is that they are Medicare patients only. It is technically possible to get all claims from all insurers of all the patients of each of your participating practices and providers. Now, the length and uh, that train gives you an idea of why this is complicated. It's a monumental task with many failure points. There are no business or regulatory requirements that demand availability of global or all-payer claims data. And with 900 distinct healthcare insurers in the US, each with a potential of multiple insurance products serving 50 states and five territories and separately regulated typically in all of those states or even sub, uh, sub regions, it's easy to see how an all payer claims is currently not practical. It is really easier to go to your practices and get it get a snapshot of, or excuse me, not a snapshot, but a download of all of their claims for a period of time uh, to know, uh, to get that data about all patients and all payers.